Hey YouTube people, it's Heiko in my garage on my workbench. We're gonna do a exciting unboxing. Uh, I usually don't follow this trend of making unboxing videos, but this one I'm really excited about. It's made by KLC Design LLC. Uh, they also make the Cat Dash. Um, it's a replacement part for older BMW motorcycles um, that replaces pretty much all the incandescent light bulbs that light up your uh, dashboard on a uh, BMW motorcycle and replace it with a new circuitry and new LEDs. And this one is a new product that they actually uh, started making just recently. Uh, they bought the rights to this design from another company that uh, went out of business. I don't know exactly the history, but it's a very good tool um, for specifically motorcycle carburetor synchronization. In this case, it's specifically made for a two-cylinder motorcycle. You could use it on a Triumph or uh, any other motorcycle that has two cylinders, I guess. Uh, you can also use it uh, to just um, check individual carburetors by vacuum amount. Um, anyways, I don't want to talk about the box. It's called the Harmonizer Vacuum Multi-Tool. Um, it has tons of functions that I don't even know about. I've already cut the tape, but I haven't opened it yet. So this is, yeah, let's take this, um, KLC Design. Here's the price that I paid for it. You can know that. I'm not going to give you my address, but um, Cat Dash. Um, they have a couple really good products. So they have this um, instrument panel replacement part to modernize it and now they have this thing it is a carburetor synchronization tool um, but it has way more functions so here are uh, two vacuum ports it comes with a long hose and even some sort of quick disconnect so you just twist it on that's good look at this this box clear plastic you see the circuitry in there looks really nice has a button here it also has a hook to hang it on something so i don't know if they actually changed anything on the design you know taking it over from another company um i'm not a hundred percent sure about the story um the the inventor of this part might have passed away and um so the his company then kind of went out of business because the company owner wasn't there anymore and so they sold the rights to cat dash or klc design uh tech measures vacuum pulse frequency to determine rpm balancer mode tech calibrate for one cylinder intake gauge mode tech uses yellow port for cylinder one and use red port for cylinder two so this is, yeah, it looks pretty nice. Here's a, apparently a battery compartment. Let's see if we can open this. Oh, there's a battery already in it, 9 volt. So that's nice. Let's see if I can close it. And then let's see if there is some sort of instruction here. Yeah, let's zoom out for you. Zoom. So, thank you for choosing the Harmonizer. You made a good choice. Fast, accurate, portable, versatile, foolproof. The Harmonizer is a small, portable, battery-powered vacuum multi-tool intended to aid power sports engine tuning and diagnostics. It may be used to help tune motorcycles, watercraft, snowmobiles, ultralight aircraft, and more. It works for both carburetor and fuel-injected mo motors. In addition to vacuum and RPM measurements in both different, well, in both differential manometer, balancer mode, and single port gauge modes, a few utility camping touring features have been included. Two calibrated vacuum measurement modes with tachometer function, reliable all electronic design with digital signal processing and no moving parts. That's good. Large, easy-to-read LCD display, no bouncing needles or parallax arrows, auto range, auto zero on power up, automatic display backlight, 
rugged housing with a clear Lexan top. Vacuum hoses are removable. They attach to the unit with a finger tight twist on the lure connector swivel hook on top for hanging attachment while operating in any orientation. Auto shut off after five minutes of in, in, inactivity. That's good. Except beacon and timed lantern modes. Internal voltage regulation and battery voltage indicator. Bright white LED including for convenient and utility. Human interface. So balancer mode is pretty much your balancing two carburetors. And the cool thing is um, it measures the RPM at the same time. Uh, and then the gauge mode is digital dampened vacuum gauge intended to measure vacuum on intakes that support one or two cylinders. Only one harmonizer port is used. The other is left unconnected. A left, a left zero meter representation is best displayed. We have LED mode. Apparently you can use this as a lantern or as a beacon. Um, yeah, 9 volt battery, basic function, backlight off, uh, 45 hours li battery life. That's really good. All right, um, I'm going to familiarize myself a little bit with this, and then we're going to hook it up to my uh, BMW motorcycle and see what it does. How about that? All right, I'll pause you, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, so now I managed to uh, get outside in the driveway, well, we have the harmonizer hooked up to my R90-6. Uh, the Bing carburetors that are on here, they already have a vacuum port from factory. You just have to take uh, the little plug screw thing out on each side. Then hook the hoses to it. Then hook each hose to a vacuum port on the harmonizer. Um, make sure you already warmed up your engine and then we're pretty much at the point where we can turn this thing on. Um, so turning on, just push the button and then it welcomes you harmonizer vacuum multi-tool. Then it, it's calibrating, uh, pretty much setting itself to zero. And um, yeah, before we do anything, I'll just show you. So if you push this button and hold it, it will go through its menu options and then you just have to choose whatever you want. So zero, that's set, resetting it, power off, toggle toggle LED, balancer mode, that's where we're in right now, gauge mode, that would be for single timed lantern, beacon, info, and zero again. And power off, let's do this. So toggle LED, oh. Um, I, I don't know quite know what the difference between the toggle LED and the um, timed lantern is. But, hey, who knows? So we we'll go back to zero. So now it's calibrating again. Um, and we are... ready to start up. I'll pause you real quick, turn on the engine. All right, guys, um, it's idling at 840 RPM. That's pretty low. And you can see that the, the, the double bar needle is over that direction. We're at 36 millibars. If you're within 25 millibars of balance, uh, it actually is pretty happy with that. Um, I knew that my bike is pretty balanced, so I intentionally made some changes just to show you what, what that looks like. So we're a little bit out of balance at idle. And we're also a little low. Um, so uh, the, the needle always moves over to the side that has more vacuum. In order for us to change that, we can either open the butterfly valve here on this side, uh, or the throttle if, if you want to call it that. Uh, the butterfly valve open this one or close the other one. But since we're low in idle RPM, Opening this will increase the idle RPM at the same time. So we're gonna open the butterfly valve right here. Open that up. Give it a few seconds to think about it. Maybe even leap the throttle a little bit. We're still a little slow. 
and we're still over to one side but we're already getting closer giving it a little more yet so I'm just opening up the butterfly valve which reduces the vacuum on the side here and also increases the idle RPM all right let's see where we're at so now we're only seven millibars off the RPM has come up at the same time It's really not much, I mean the movement that I'm, now we're at 3 millibars. Yeah, so now we're over the other way. So now I can close this here a little bit or, or open the, uh, the other side. So I'm just choosing to close here a little bit. Let's see, yeah, this is zero, one, this is perfect. So now, I'll just touch my cylinder real quick. I don't want to overheat anything. You can't idle an airhead that long. So we're gonna go to RPM a little bit. And you can see again, we have a little bit of an off balance to one side. So the right side carburetor has more vacuum than the other. So let's, Let's turn this off for a second here. So the idle adjustment, the idle balance is done with the throttle stop down there, uh, which pretty much positions the butterfly valve in here in close, uh, open, open, close, whatever. You, you adjust the angles and you can do that on both sides. You can uh, make it so that uh, vacuum is the same on both sides and uh, the idle RPM is just right. Uh, I like it a little bit above uh, 1000 RPM just because uh, if the idle RPM is lower than that, uh, the uh, alternator doesn't want to charge really well. So I, I give it a little more. And now to adjust the higher RPM balance, you have to manipulate the throttle cables. So here in this case, oh, it's pretty warm. You have a little bit of play in the in the housing of the throttle cable and that's normal you're supposed to have a little bit of slack because you don't want the cable so tight that it's constantly holding your butterfly valve open so this is normal but now you need to get it to the point where both are exactly the same you can do that of course statically by just looking at it and wiggling it and trying to get it as close as possible but uh, uh, as you can see, as soon as I rev up the engine, the vacuum here on this side is stronger than on the other side. That means that the other side, the left side carburetor, is opening uh, more than this one. And uh, how we change that, you just take yourself a 10 millimeter wrench, undo the little lock nut, then grab your adjuster and turn it out a little bit so what that does is it makes the housing of the throttle cable longer and takes up some of the the slack so the the more you turn it out the longer the housing gets so to speak and um, that changes how much the cable actually pulls on this butterfly valve here on this side so we're just going to give it a try like this changed a little bit you can see it's still on it will turn off in uh, five minutes so let me pause start up again so we're still relatively balanced it's not as nice as it was before uh, before I made my changes but uh, we can we can always go back to our adjustment and just notch it along so this is really close and now I'm going to give it some RBM and it almost stays centered so that, you know those are really tiny little minute changes 3100 and we're almost centered 
So the adjustment that I just made seems to be just about right. So I'm gonna uh, just loosen this up again and change it ever so slightly. So now I wanna um, pretty much screw the, the adjuster in a little bit, give it a little bit more slop so that um, we get a little bit closer to the middle. Uh, and the same I will do with the idle adjustment. I just closed the butterfly valve. So um, guys, uh, we're, we're so close to uh, final result here. I will start it up one more time. Um, yeah, we reset it one more time so it calibrates itself to zero. Start it up one more time and see how idle and throttle balancing is on those two carburetors. But I'm not going to fudge around just because uh, there is one millibar difference. So here, let me pause and... So, one last try. Yeah, it's... It's really close to zero, yeah. So now we're a couple millibars over to this side. There we go, at zero. And then at RPM. It barely changes. Two, three millibars difference. This is nothing. This is really, really, really close. So I think we're gonna leave it alone. I tighten up my little uh, lug nut there so that the adjuster doesn't change by itself. And uh, we're not gonna f mess around with this. 1,080, 1,100 is fine. You know, some people like it faster, some people like it slower. I like it kind of right around there. It so shifts nicely into first gear when you're at a, at a stoplight um, and uh, the engine is still running fast enough for the generator or alternator. I, I don't even know why they, it's not a, it's not a generator. They have a generator light, but it's actually an alternator. It's kind of funny that they named it that way. Um, but yeah, so this is pretty cool. Yeah, uh, I'll show you um, our emergency beacon real quick. So if you're ever in distress somewhere, maybe you crashed on the side of the road and uh, this thing falls in your hand. So here's a beacon. I don't know what it's Morse coding, but it's not SOS, I'm pretty sure. I wasn't in the Navy, I was in the Army, but so let's go to toggled. LED. What is the difference between toggled LED and the lantern? I can, by double clicking here, I can turn this on and off. I don't know if it's a function. And gauge mode, let's look at that. So, yeah, it's just measuring uh, vacuum. You can probably use that for finding out what vacuum is present at a vacuum line that goes to your automatic transmission in your truck or uh, individual carburetors or whatever vacuum ports that you want to check. Uh, maybe you have an old VW and you want to see if there's vacuum present at your uh, distributor or who knows what you could use it for. Um, yeah. So that's balancer, gauge, timed lantern, turns off after, I want to say 15 minutes. Release version one, vamp 2.52. Okay, yeah, so I have release version one. Yeah, this is right after it came out from Cat Dash. Uh, like I said, a previous company used to make the harmonizer and it was really popular. Um, I, I'm really happy with the purchase so far. It seems to be working really well. And uh, it, it only takes you seconds to um, adjust your carburetors just right. Balancer mode, there we are back. 
Let's let's turn it on one more time. So running, uh, we're dead nut center. And they're the same. It wants to wander over to the right side a little bit, but it's so minimal. I'm really happy. So, and yeah, it automatically turns off. Um, I am pretty freaked out about this. Uh, I, I don't know if I would take this on a ride, really, because I know that with the old-fashioned um, grounding of spark plugs, I can get the adjustment pretty close. Um, and I have those spark plug extensions that you screw on to make it a little easier. And I always carry a screwdriver, of course. Um, I, I don't know if I would take this on a ride, but if I would go to a place where there are maybe a few airheads meeting up and I want to make them all happy and give them a, a, a free carburetor balancing, I think this is pretty cool. And I'm not always working on BMWs. I've had other two-cylinder motorcycles in here for other people. And uh, yeah, this is, um, this is a cool tool to have in your garage. Uh, I'm definitely giving it a thumbs up. If there's anything that I find out about it that that is not to my liking or maybe it breaks within three weeks, I will make an update video.